Hi, let's see what's new with the release of Caspio 8.6. This release introduces four new features. The first feature is Bulk Edit, which will give you the ability to apply the same updates on multiple records all at once. The second feature introduces Self Joins in Views. This feature allows you to create relationships between records in the same table. Third feature is the all new file app parameter. With this enabled, you can manage static files such as images across an entire application. Fourth feature introduces cascading elements in grid edit, bulk edit, and inline insert and edit. Lastly, we have redesigned some of the application icons to give you a cleaner and modern looking icon throughout your forms and reports. Now let's take a closer look at each one of the new features. First up is bulk edit. Bulk edit, as mentioned before, allows you to edit multiple records all at once. This feature is also available in all report types, including tabular, list, and gallery options. For example, imagine you have an application that tracks submitted issues. Let's say that we filter our results to see all the new issues. What if we want to assign multiple records to the same employees to follow up on? Let's highlight all the issues that haven't been assigned yet, Click on edit at the top, this will pop open a screen that allows us to modify each column and assign these selected records to a specific employee. Once you select the employee and click update, now all of the issues will be assigned to that user. To enable the bulk edit feature inside your Caspio account, edit the report, click next until you reach the editing options screen and you'll find the bulk edit checkbox directly underneath grid edit. If you enable the bulk edit checkbox, you'll see an additional screen inside a data page wizard. The very next screen allows you to modify the results page, but if you click next again, you'll see this new bulk edit screen. By default, each one of the fields will be configured as a text field. However, you have the ability to change the form element on each one of the fields. When you're done making all the changes, simply click on finish and you should now be able to perform mass updates on your reports. Let's take a look at the next feature. Grid Edit, Bulk Edit, and Inline Insert and Edit now support cascading elements, allowing you to use cascading dropdowns, radio buttons, and other element types throughout your reports. When using this feature while in Grid Edit mode, you can select your options in a dropdown and you'll see how the following dropdown, if cascading elements are enabled, will be affected by the prior selection. This feature is easy to enable inside your Caspio account and it works exactly how you would normally configure other cascading elements. Let's take a look. We're going to edit one of our already configured reports. We'll look at it from a grid point of view, but keep in mind you can enable these cascading elements in other areas such as inline insert, bulk edit, etc. Once you enable the grid edit feature, on the very next screen select editing for each of the fields that you wish to edit, and here we can configure our cascading options. Link the correct lookup tables to your cascading options and this will allow you to, while in grid edit mode, to change your selections. Now let's take a look at the next feature. Self joins in views. This feature allows us to create relationships between records in the same table. To demonstrate how this feature works, let's first take a look at my user table that I created containing all the employees of a company. As you can see, each employee has a unique employee ID and an assigned manager, each with their own manager ID. Now I'd like to use the new self-join feature to create a view so that I can see all the manager's information on the same row as the employee's record, so that later I can create a report that groups employees with their manager name. When you go to Views, click on New and move the Employees table to the right. Now I want to join the employee data with the manager data on the same row, so I'm going to select the same table again to create a self-join. Now in the new 8.6 release, when you select the same table again, it will prompt you to create an alias so you can easily add the new fields using different names. Now we need to link the manager ID from the employees table to the employee ID inside the self-joining table. We also need to include all the records and that should give us a left outer join. When you're done merging the table, click next again and after further modifying your fields, click on finish. When you open the view, you'll now see a nice hierarchy of who manages who from the employee table. When viewing the data on an actual report data page, 
With grouping enabled, we can see all of our employees and their respective managers. Now let's take a look at the next feature. New File Application Parameter This feature allows us to use static files as application parameters and use those files throughout our data pages within an application. Let's take a look. When you access the Overview screen, click on Manage to view all of the application parameters. Here let's click on New, give our parameter a name, select File from the Type drop-down menu, and attach a file by either picking an existing one inside your account or by uploading it from your computer. Hit Save and now you can start using this application parameter throughout your data pages. For example, if I edit my registration form and if I enable both advanced options and parameters, on the configuration screen I can insert a header and footer and inside the header I can pass this application parameter and display it as an image. I can include this app parameter in any of my data pages. Now if I change the logo from the application parameter screen, all the data pages will be updated to reflect that change instantly. Let's take a look at the next feature. This feature, which is more of an enhancement, is a new modern look and feel of our existing icons. We've redesigned all of our icons to give you a much more modern and cleaner look to match the latest trends and styles available on the web today. This concludes our release video. I hope you've enjoyed it. To see additional details on the latest release, visit the online help at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.